Oh, he's gonna so catch really his the A. Wow, well, am I still there? Set free. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Kid Match Plus TV. Today we are playing the Tower of Death. Oh, let's get to it. Hello, Dan Smith here. I directed this film back in, uh, well, it feels like a century ago. Yeah. The studio asked me to provide a commentary track for the DVD release. And wham, straight into the action. No fluff or anything. That's what we did back then. Crash landed ship. Out pops our hero, the fearless Dick Starspeed. Part 1 The ship's velocity reactor is damaged. I believe that I am stranded on an alien planet. He says stranded. Played of course by actor Jonathan I'm collecting Dickie. coins because I like gold and gold's my thing. No, I'm just kidding. I like silver. I thought from day one this guy's got leading man written all over his things. face. Cause silver is like champion, but really. Greetings, citizens of Gravoria. I am Dick Starspeed, and I come in peace. Probably shouldn't have had Dick draw his weapon when he was talking about peace. Well, maybe one day we'll go back and see G it into a sandwich or something instead. Ha! Just kidding. What? And this is what people pay to see. A no-name middle-aged B-list actor duking it out with stunt men in costumes. <laughs> yes. Such stunning choreography. Now the extras in those robot suits really knew how to take a punch. Oh, literally. I told Jonathan not to hold back. Give it all to him. Kick him in the nuts and bolts. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. We handled it responsibly. We made them all sign waivers not to sue for injuries. Okay, there we go. Yes. Now he's not coming. Whoa. Holy smokes! If I land squarely on that grain silo, I should Anyways. survive this fall unscathed. Okay. Well, I shouldn't say this now, but you could actually see the strings if you squint. Yes, oh, we did. Um, a screenwriting trick from back in the old days. You put a grain silo or some haystacks down, and it solves all your gravity-related problems. Yeah. Apparently, I saw a video. And no, I say it was all. Focus. Thank you. Hey. It appears some of my equipment was lost when my ship was shot down. But what was luck. this high tech scanner reports that my ray gun is right. nearby. The dad went back to car and had the sleep. Doesn't fall all your oh, problems. Just don't see Not at all if you have a Cayman War. Someone and that war is Cayman, so. Oh, check frame. it out. Today, it'd be done with and the floor is kind of like. Where's the artistry in I mean, that? the basement floor is. Not all of them are Like part of our. But I'm recording. Yeah. Well, it's because they are. I took them from the set of my last. Film, yeah, anyway, so we got to too. go over here. We got our fair share of nasty oh. letters from scientists complaining about our portrayal of the dinosaurs. Mm, Was does. news to me. Apparently, That's these what the dinosaur says. Must have preferred shellfish or something. Wow, well, how do they know? That's what I say. No. I did it. I'm here. 
ultimate really right here. I'm the ultimate with that. As usual, the local population oh. is defenseless. That's where our hero steps in and saves the day. Uh, guy, get him. Look, we put Jonathan through a lot shooting this film. He wasn't the best actor, especially when reacting to getting hit. <laughs> He's what you call a flincher. <laughs> so I told the stuntman to really just go to town on him. It's the only way to get an honest performance sometimes. Our props master tried to make the weapon saw, but there's only so much you can do. Lucky for us, Dick's entire body was covered in that spacesuit. That thing was a lifesaver when it came to hiding bruises. You'll notice the gold disappears when Dick touches it. We had a deleted scene that explained he's actually teleporting it back to his ship. It's funny, no one ever questioned how Dick was able to walk around with an infinite amount of gold on him. Alright, I'm gonna get all the Yikes, it's like, like, shell. Uh, we had to redo these shots. Our first oh, attempt okay. was uh, kind of a disaster. Boom. We tried using real apes, thought it'd cut down on the costume budget a bit. But have you ever tried working with apes? They are the worst actors ever. They don't sit still for a moment. And the second you take your eyes off of them, they're flinging their feces all over the place. Jonathan refused to work with them after he got a... Um, well, it's, let, let's just say that he uh, had to take more than a couple of showers one day. You know, you never forget the smell of monkey poo. We steam cleaned the studio top to bottom. Still never got rid of it entirely. All through the rest of the shot, we kept finding those little surprises hiding That's inside gross. various props. Boy, <laughs> what are those the days? I'm staying away. Oh, Don comes, guy. I ran away. You can't catch me. Boom. Oh, he's gonna so catch us. Really the A. Motion effects. Well, how am I the still there? We skimped on the Dick Star Speed puppet a little. Earthman is not for you to eat, fiend. Ah. Oh, this was groundbreaking. We had the woman rescuing the man for once. We were really ahead of our time with this scene, but well, then again, I've always been rather progressive. The studio exec didn't seem to get why it was such a big deal, though. Sorry, we don't see this as anything unusual. Ha! Of course! It's unusual! A woman would never save the man! It just doesn't happen! Not in the movies, not in real life! I don't know why we didn't get more recognition for this scene. Well, I guess I was just a little too ahead of my time. With the brain in! I've done some very good. Thank you for saving me, strange woman. What is your name? I am the magnificent Scarlet Nova. <laughs> Do not question my motives. Just be happy that you are still alive. I must speak with my father at once. I shall teleport to his chambers. So, we'll be seeing our first example of teleportation being used by Scarlet right here. Hello! Hey, no. huh? Boom! Where is this place? This is not my father's chambers. I don't like the music. This is... This is meant to be only used... For the final time, Scarlet! Oh. Enjoy an eternity in... 
the tower of eternal solitude. Not in the music. For all eternity. Oh, <laughs> the old fool did not notice I am wearing my jetpack. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Booster usage. Jump. Jump. Wait. 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 Use booster. Survive deadly fall. Now I'm doing the thing. Jump. Wait. Wait. Oh! <laughs> hey, now what's going on? This isn't the right cut. Oh, sorry, sir. These How was it the right cut? Of course it was the right cut. I am the one. <laughs> this is they died. That doesn't mean it's the wrong cut. I mean, that person was captured. Of course she can die. Booster usage. I more than two. But you just wanted Wait. to live until the end Wait. of the Booster. movie, where finally so she goes like. Oh. And died. And died. Just like that? Yes. Finally would have died. In one part of the movie will have to. Yeah. Alright. Electricity monster, why is there electricity? Isn't this electro beam supposed to make the electricity have more electricity? Or is it this one? Well, when I said we, I meant the artist. I'm pretty much useless if I don't get a solid 10 hours at night. Electric but they were at it forever. And then, red. No! First time. A giant monster. Kill this. Bonsi! Oh, the fearless sea monster. Always patrolling the shore, eagerly awaiting for his next. Oh, no. oh. Okay, how many scenes left will have the giant sea monster? I am the sea monster. My father revoked my access yeah, to the teleport. Oh, 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 how do I know I can trust you? Oh, uh, this scene. This is practically Shakespeare in outer space. Just as the entire planet does. And, uh... Huh? Patrick, what's wrong with the video? Ah, uh, sorry, sir. Technical problems. Darn it, we're missing some really good writing here. There. Sorry about that. Well... We just passed right by her big side. Wow. Basically, they agree to work together, but one must stay behind in the sleep chamber at all times. Should I rewind? Ah, uh, never mind. I'll continue from here. Uh, right from the start, our budget was uh, a little hey. tight. 
He put a couple of scenes to make do, Tony shot a couple scenes in black and white. Originally, he intended to use it for flashbacks, but then I had to break it to him. Our film doesn't have flashbacks. We almost made it a silent film just to cut costs. Victory is mine. I hate that part. Okay, where do I go now? Where's that? Yeah. Ah. Oh. It would appear that now is the time for us to climb the Deadly Tower of Monsters. So that's the end of the demo. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. And yeah, bye everyone.